Welcome back everyone. I'm here opening the second deck in this starter set. Uh, wanted to open it up a little earlier, but uh, just uh, had a, a lot of things going on yesterday. But uh, I'm really excited to see what's in this because tonight is a Chainbound tournament. And I might be able to play this deck in the tournament, so hopefully if it's a good one. Uh, if it's not, I'll play the other one. But um, let's see what we got. So, opening it up here, we see, starting off with a new house, Star Alliance. Good, we got one uh, Sori and one Star Alliance in this box. That's really cool. Second house is Dis, and third house is Saurian. So, both new houses in this one. We have Pharaoh, Tin Whisker, Schmidt. And look at that, another symmetrical Archon. That looks really cool. Oh, I love the wings on this one. Oh, that head is awesome. This is a really cool Archon. Dang, it looks like a boss monster. That's neat. Let's uh, open this up and see what we got. Now, I've seen decks with individual um, Star Alliance and Saurians, but I haven't seen a deck with both, so I'm interested to see if there's like any synergy between the two. And once again, this overact is fighting me. I need to find a technique for this. It's better than me just hacking into it with my fingers. Uh, I can't promise that this deck is going to be anywhere near as exciting as the previous deck, but uh, I will <laughs> I will do my best to keep this entertaining as much as I can. And uh, yeah, if you uh, like what I, I'm doing here, then uh, feel free to... Oh, I don't want to look at that. <laughs> Almost revealed everything. Don't look at that if you... Don't pause and slow it down if you want to be surprised. <laughs> Apologies. Still new at this. But uh, yeah, we're going to get this open, not destroy the cards in the process. Feel free to skip ahead in the video to want to get this open. I don't know why they make these so difficult. Okay, all right. Next time I'll use scissors. Be very careful. All right, so we'll drop that Archon card there. Square it up. And we're starting with Star Alliance. And we have an upgrade with an Amber bonus. Uh, called Garcia's Blaster. This creature gains Fight Reap. You may deal 2 damage to a creature, or attach Garcia's Blaster to Sensor Chief Garcia. After you attach Garcia's Blaster to Sensor Chief Gar Garcia, steal 1 Amber. So, they, they've introduced these new uh, these new upgrades that can be um, kind of uh, equipped to a creature and then equipped to another creature. So, um, it's pretty neat. Uh, you, you know, you have a kind of named creatures. I think uh, because of that symbol down there, in the bottom of the thing right there, you're uh, kind of guaranteed to get Sensor Chief Garcia with this. So, neat. Cool one to start with. And then we have a card that I haven't seen before. We have Amber Amber Tracker, a uh, four-power creature. Play. Deal two damage to each enemy creature with Amber on it. The damage cannot be prevented by armor. Oh, cool. So, these are good th These are good against capture decks, which is pretty neat. Or exalt decks, even. Uh, so, good anti-Saurian strat. Neat card. I like that. Next up, oop. we got Stunner. It's an upgrade, Amber, when you play it. This creature gains Fight Reap. You may stun a creature. That's really handy. Really handy. We've got another upgrade here um, th with an Amber bonus. This creature gains Reap Ward. This creature, ooh, that's really good. Oh man, put that against. I uh, put that on something that needs protecting, and my goodness, that could be. That could last a long time. Got a creature here. Um, oh, actually, it's an action card. Uh, it's called Zap, and when you play it, uh, play, deal one damage to a creature for each house represented among creatures in play. And there's no limit to that, too. So, yeah, you can have a, you can do a lot of damage uh, to a single creature. Very, uh, like, single target uh, Zap, <laughs> aptly named. I like that. Next, we have Sensor Chief Garcia, a three-power creature. Fight, play, fight, reap. Keys cost plus two during your opponent's next turn. I love seeing these kinds of cards. Cards that can kind of uh, prevent your opponent from forging for even a single turn can make a real big difference in the long run of the game. Next up. Oh, we have another Sense of Chief Garcia. Oh, great to have multiples of these. Love to have multiples of these. Now we have Red Alert. Red Alert. It's an action card. Play. If there are more enemy creatures and friendly creatures, creatures, deal damage to each enemy creature equal to the difference. So, yeah, this is a good big swing card to kind of uh, help clear your opponent's board if they happen to get away from young creatures. Very nice. Next up, we got Medic Ingram. Three power creature. Uh, play Fight Reap. You may heal three damage from a creature and ward it. 
So another word effect, very nice. I like those. Explo Rover, the three power creature. Skirmish, Explo Rover may be played as an upgrade instead of a creature with a text that this creature gains Skirmish. So you can either play it and get, have a creature with Skirmish or give a creature Skirmish. That's really versatile. I like that a lot. That's super cool. I like that kind of archetype of creature that can turn into an upgrade. That's really neat. Next, we got Commander Chan, a uh, four power creature. Fight, reap, use another friendly creature. Always good to use a creature off house. Um, you know, just puts you ahead of your opponent. Lots of good synergy so far in here, I feel like. We got a Chief Engineer Walls, two power creature. Elusive, play, fight, reap. You may return an upgrade or robot card from your discard pile to your hand. So we have a lot of upgrades in robot. We have a robot upgrade even. So this is definitely going to get some play, um, I feel like. Uh, looks like Tony Stark, actually. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah, pretty cool. On to Saurians. And we're starting off with the cool one. Uh, four power, Philos... Philophosaurus. Philophosaurus. I cannot say this name. Philophosaurus. Four power creature... Uh, reap, you may look at the top three cards of your deck, archive one, add one to your hand, and discard one. That is such a good speed card. My goodness, that'll really speed things up. Your opponent's going to really target this guy and want to get rid of him because otherwise you're going to run away with your deck and have, you know, just a lot of advantage. Really big advantage card. And we have two of those. That's really cool. Next we got Paragardian. Uh, I think we saw this last time. Six power, one armor creature. Reap, you may exalt Paragardian. If you do, ward even just neighbors. So... Another word effect. I love that. You can protect a lot of cool things. Oh, and here he returns again. Two for two on the Gargantodon. 16 power, and no armor. Uh, Gargantodon interplay stunned. Only deals four damage when fighting. And each amber that would be stolen is captured by a creature controlled by the act player instead. So once again, this turns all steals into captures, which is very, very good um, if you have a lot of board control, which it seems like we kind of do. We have a lot of creatures, is what I've kind of assessed so far. So... This might put in a lot of work in this deck. I think it's good in pretty much any deck you see it in. Um, we got uh, Triserian Legionary, five power creature, five power one armor creature. Taunt, uh, play ward a friendly creature. Another ward effect. This is a deck all about warding, it seems like. Next up, we got Theo Centurion, six power one armor. Play, fight, capture one. Good stuff to take away Amber from my opponent. Retor Gallim, three power. Play, your opponent's keys cost plus three during their next turn. And reap, you may exalt Reptor Gallum. If you do, your opponent's keys cost plus three during their next turn. So yeah, that's a, another another way of stalling your opponent. Man, this deck seems to have a, a lot of good answers for that too. Next up, we got Questor Jarta. Man, a lot of creatures in this deck. Three power, no armor, elusive. Reap, you may exalt Questor Jarta. If you do, gain one amber. So basically, you put a potential amber for your opponent to get, and you get two amber each time this guy reaps. So, that's pretty nice. We got Prefectus Ludo, 5 power, no armor. Each other friendly creature gains destroyed. Move each amber on this creature to the common supply. So once again, this is a way of kind of preventing all, my opponent from getting all of that amber, at least, if I, you know, get too happy with the exalting. So, that's cool. Up next, we got uh, Odoak the Patrician, 5 power, no armor. Play, capture one. While Odoak the Patrician has Amber on it, your Amber cannot be stolen. Oh man, so not only have Gargantadon, but we have um, this guy to, perfect, to prevent stealing from happening, or true stealing, really. So that's really neat. I like that. Uh, Legatus Raptor, four power, one armor. Uh, fight. You may exalt Legatus, Legatus Raptor. If you do, ready and use another friendly creature. Again, using a creature off house, um, you know, it's, it's tied to an exalt effect, so it's a little worse than Commander Chan, but uh, still, still, it's very good. It's on a fight effect, so we might take something out on their side too, so great. Uh, got an action card, Chant of Hubris, Amber when you play it. Move one Amber from a creature to another creature. So uh, that's a way of kind of lowering the amount of Amber on our board, on our creatures, um, keeping it less, uh, you know, risky. And we're on to dis, new discards here. We have Scientist Bane, action card, Amber when you play it. And it looks like it's a special rare too, so that's exciting. Um, we have, so it's Amber when you play it, action, destroy a scientist creature. That's really specific. It seems to be really specific. I don't know um, what exactly that, you know, why exactly that's a special rare. Uh, maybe it includes another card. It's special. Uh, okay, well, we got Snaglet, uh, two power creature. 
Elusive. Action. Choose a house. If your opponent chooses that house as their active house in their next turn, steal two amber. Oh, so it's kind of like a soft uh, restraint gun test or a soft, a soft tesmal from the previous set. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, that'll, uh, you know, make your opponent think twice about choosing that house that you might, you know, be afraid of. That's cool. Uh, oh, returning card, Onyx Knight. Um, four power, no armor. D play, destroy each creature with odd power. Ooh, yeah, we'll go through, we'll go back through this time and see what, uh, what creatures have odd power to see if this is going to help or hurt us more. Uh, Blood Shard Imp, two power, no armor. After a creature reaps, its controller must sacrifice it. Okay. I uh, got Malison, uh, five power, no armor. Fight, you may move an enemy creature anywhere in its controller's battle line. Then, if it's on a flank, it captures one from its own side. Okay, so you got some fight effects. You might get maybe one, maybe two fights with this guy. So, um, maximum, it'll probably give you two amber captured, um, or stolen, really, essentially stolen. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you, got, you need to have some big creatures. We've got uh, Infernus, four power, no armor. Play, purge up to two cards from a discard pile. Your opponent loses amber equal to the total amber bonus of the purge cards. Oh, okay. So that's pretty cool. Four power creature, and you make your opponent lose two amber, potentially. It's a great mid-game card, you know. You don't want to see this in your first hand, obviously, but uh, yeah. You get rid of two of their cards, you get rid of two of their amber, and you have a creature at it. That's, that's, that's pretty great for a common. And we have two of those, too. That's fantastic. Next up, we've got Imp Specter, two power, a no armor, destroyed, purge random card from your opponent's hand. Fantastic. Etarame, Etarome, four power, no armor, reap, destroy a creature of the house of the most creatures in play. It's a good strategic card. And we have two of those. I think the last card of the deck is, nope, we have one more. We've got Draining Touch, play, destroy a creature with no amber on it, which is really good with the... Uh, well, it's just good in general, I think. And then we have another ring touch. So yeah, interesting deck. Uh, let's uh, pick all this back up and sort of go through it and see, do a quick analysis on this. Uh, we'll definitely do a creature count. Let's do amber count first. So I think we had more amber than at least in the previous deck. Um, let's see here. Once again, I have to kind of pay attention to some of the effects of these cards because it's a new set and I'm not aware of uh, how some of these things generate amber. Um, so I didn't miss an amber pip on the last video, so I just kind of make sure I don't do that this time, if I can avoid it. Um, let's see here, more amber. Um, no, that's just amber loss. There is a good amount of amber control in here, I would say. Um, I don't know if I'd count that as amber. Uh, no, I'm not going to count that as amber. Amber, amber. Uh, uh, that's an extra reap, which isn't just straight up amber. I won't count that as straight up amber anyway. Philophosaurus. I can say it now. That's a really good speed card. I like that a lot. Commander Chon. Okay, so total amber we have is, um, let's see. So this lets us put one of amber on our creatures to an opponent's. So I'm gonna count that as two, just because that way I can count that. So that's two, three, um, we'll say just four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, and nine. No, oh, I thought it would have more. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's the second deck we have with nine amber. Uh, I mean, it might not be bad. Let's see how many creatures do we have here. It's not creature. Creatures. Yeah, I feel like we had a fair number of creatures, so that might make, make up for it. Plus we had a lot of creatures. We had a lot of ward effects, so we can keep these creatures out for a long time. So this deck's mainly going to get amber by reaping and kind of controlling the board is how this deck's gonna win, it seems like. And yeah, I can, I mean, I'm already seeing a whole bunch of creatures, especially in, uh, in the uh, Saurians, and it seems like we have a lot of creatures. Let's see. One. Oh, yeah, let's start over here. Five. 10. 15. 20. 
25? 27 creatures. <laughs> no wonder we don't have any amber. 27 creatures, that's a quite a lot. How many of them are uh, odd power? Let's see, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ugh. 10, yeah, so 10 of our 27 creatures have odd power, so we have, you know, it's less than half of our creatures have odd power, so we'd probably be able to uh, play that Onyx Knight pretty well. Um, now, uh, let's see, how many, how much Amber Control do we have is the next thing I want to check. Um, let's see, Amber Control. Sorry, moving my hands around too much. Um, so this is Amber Control, I would say. Well, it's preventing my opponent from stealing, so... In a sense, it's Amber Control. I'll count it as Amber Control. Um, so, play Fight, Control. Um, that's a form of Amber Control, I'd say. Amber control. Amber, it's Amber Control, I guess, yeah. Hmm. I don't know if I call that straight up Amber Control. This is Amber Control, for sure. This is definitely Amber Control. Amber Control. Man, yeah, we have a lot of Amber Control. Eh, I don't know if I count that as Amber Control. Stun, Ward. Okay, so Amber Control ways. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, seven and a half, eight. No, no, is that what, yeah, wow. So I'd say like eight or nine total Amber Control. That's that's pretty dang good. 27 creatures, eight Amber, amber Control. So. That's that's kind of how we're gonna keep this deck alive, I would say. Uh, keep going with this deck. There, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of good in here. Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, still very uh, very uh, unfamiliar with this new set, so I'm not sure exactly how this deck's gonna do in tournament. But hey, maybe I'll try it tonight and I'll let you know. All right. Uh, yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching, and uh, if you enjoy this content, please subscribe and like, and uh, yeah. I will see you hopefully in the next video.